Hello, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to everyone out there and welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the second part of Bob's Pancake House. We're going to be cracking on with more exterior today. Uh, more exterior work. We may get into the restaurant. I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure how much more detail we're going to be adding on the outdoors. So I'm not going to say we will. We might leave that until next week when we come back to it because this is going to be a few parts i think maybe four parts i would say um thank you for all your wonderful comments i've yet to go and answer them all properly yet but that might change by the time this video is up i might find a little hour window somewhere where i can go and answer them um but yeah that's it other than that i'm going to be live on twitch tonight 7 p.m gmt we're going to be building a 16th century looking like english country home something like that i think maybe might change the plans might change but that's the kind of vibe i'm gonna try and go for i think so yes that's it let's get in and let's start building okay my loves here we are back at bob's pancake house and details have changed last time i've put these like little cute uh dividers in the fence area just this was looking a little bit too closed in I still wanted to be able to kind of like sort of see little pockets of the world from outside. So I thought by adding those in, it just tells a little bit of a story, really. I've also put in some doors and windows here onto what is going to be the kitchen. Um, and I've also extended this part out here. Now I'm thinking about putting in, it's almost going to be like a, a storeroom itself. But I think what I'm going to do is pop a bed in there as well, just in case... Bob does work late that he can stay over here. So he has got his own little area there. I've also, I haven't lit this area here yet. Not that we're going to be using these lights, but I'm just going to pop this in for the minute. Yes, I am. I put wallpapers and stuff on the inside. This might change. I might put some nice art or something on the walls. I'm unsure as to what we're doing yet. Um, but I thought this could be a cute little place where you actually come in, you get seated here. And then there's tables. I want to put a table each by the door, like a a single table with two chairs, if you know what I mean, just to pay, like, stop the Sims from coming in through these doors for one. But also, in my head, these doors would kind of like slide open all the way, and your Sim would be able to sit with the window, like the door open, facing out onto the street. I thought that was very, very nice indeed. But other than that, nothing really else changed. Oh, I've also added some more roof detail up on here as well. I just put this object all the way around just to give it a bit more decorative decorative pull to be honest with you but yeah this is definitely coming along and also what i'm going to start doing now i think what we'll start with actually is i'll detail this area up here i want to make this blend in with the world around it so i might use a couple of these trees just to blend this lot into this world a little bit more uh, so that's what we're going to do yes we are indeed so we're going to start now darlings yes we are i hope you're all okay Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm a bit tired today. So if you notice a bit of lackluster in this voiceover, that is the reasons, loves. Main reasons being, I just couldn't get to sleep last night. I don't know what the hell it bloody was. But I just stay, stay sitting up, overthinking things, planning stuff in my head. And I hate when I do that. It's so bloody annoying. But I just couldn't stop it. So I went to bed around about, I reckon about half ten. And I... Probably went to bed asleep. Well, went to go to sleep, sleep. Around about half 11. Because I was reading Harry Potter in bed. And um, I don't reckon I got to sleep until about half one. <laughs> God. It felt like I was tossing and turning for ages. I was hot. I was cold. It was just, it was annoying. It was bloody annoying. So I'm a bit tired today. I'm a bit tired today. So I'm going to have to have a coffee or something before the stream tonight. Just to amp up the energy levels, loves. Because um, that was a... Oh, I hate that. I hate when you go to bed and you just can't get asleep. It absolutely annoys the tits off of me. And I love my sleep. And I'm usually quite good at just falling straight to sleep as well. So no idea what that was about. No idea at all. Anyway, let's get out the um, willow tree. I want the same willow tree as what we used uh, around a few of these lots. Let's get rid of you. You're keeping us in the shade, darling. Keeping us in the shade. I have no idea where this tree is, so let me find it. Found it. I was looking for the wrong tree for some reason. I was looking for this tree back here. You know, the big one. I don't know why I was looking for that one. I should have just been looking for the normal base game one. You silly bar maiden. 
Uh, and this tree here, I oh, there it is. Oh, good. Goodbye. I was going to use the one with the flowers on, but if we've got the same tree there, that's what we're going to do. Now, flowers wise, it's normally just the low lying flowers with the pink ones. Um, I think we'll do that. I don't think I'm going to add a bench here. I might do. I haven't decided on that yet, but I'm not sure. So for flowers, we need those pink boys come to me. Oh, God, I need to get rid of all of debug and live edit because most of these are bought ones anyway, I think, uh, rather than debug. Are you in here or are you in here? Oh, you're in this one. There you are. Yes, like these. So I'm going to just skirt these around the bottom of the trees in an in a fashion in a fashion of um something <laughs> my brain's not working today. <laughs> just gonna have to, you're gonna have to bear with the loves gonna have to bear with and the best thing now is that with twisted mexi's tool um that are build and buy and tool mod you can actually do the tool mod in the build mode that is probably the best thing i've seen ever um we're going to get you. I'm just going to scale it up slightly. I think we're going to do a 1.1 here. Oh, that made such a difference. <laughs> maybe a 2 or maybe just a 1.5. That's better. Yes. Okay. And then it's a shift and T to get rid of that. And there you go. Stunning. <gasps> oh, that's going to be a massive difference. That is. I haven't updated my tool mod or better build and buy mod in a long, long time. So <laughs> this is the first time... I'm able to use all of the tool integrations in build mode, which just makes it so much easier. So much easier because I hated having to go out into live edit mode because I don't build with live edit mode. Um, I don't build with live mode, I meant to say, there because I'm always in build mode. I'm never in gameplay, really. So it makes a lot of difference. So thank you, Mexi, for producing some of these amazing mods. I love them. I love them. Even though I'm not a a tool modder per se i'm not really a i use it little bits here and there i'm not like a big tool builder like someone like uh, sati sim or um kate emerald i don't really use tool mod a lot um no of reasons that that i just prefer not to yeah i i, I prefer just to build with the in-game stuff and use tool mod in little places you know rather than doing these massively beautiful big builds that they are all doing um i'm keeping it as simple simple as i can on this channel not to uh over complicate my content really okay main reasons being if i was only doing speed builds like i was and not full-time five videos a week i'd be using it a whole lot more but because i'm doing these five videos a week it, i just don't have time to use the tool mod and that's just it that's just that is it that was a great story thank you all for coming <laughs> good day <laughs> right i'm gonna do a little bench moment here i think a little bench moment like that we'll do it on just soil as well gravelly soil shall we say around the corners here i'll just connect that in slightly with the grass let's whiffle you all the way along oh stunning yes that's better and then i'm gonna put a nice little bench down here as well um, and just using the same one as we've got in the world there, which is that one that I don't think we've got that exact bench. I don't think we do have one, but I'm not sure if it's the exact one. Well, it kind of is, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do, we'll use that one. Do you have a build? A build? You got a bin next to it. Okay, I'll add a couple of lights in and a bin. What bin was that anyway? I didn't even pay attention. Okay, so it's one like that. It's this one here. This one here. I'll pop you right to the end, actually, like there. And then I'm going to do a light either side of it. Um, and we'll just stick with these here. One and two. Ah, oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. And I may add in a street lamp, actually. So let me find that street lamp because it is in live edit. There she is. I've just popped her in there. And I think this does give out a glow. Oh, not really. Well, sort of. It's got a soft glow on it. That will have to do. Is that floating? Oh, it is slightly floating. Well, I'm not having that, darling. And I can easily fix that now by doing... Oh, I need to do I need, I need to select it first, Aiden. That would be great. Select. Am I doing this wrong? No, there we go. Right. And then elevation. A minus 0 0.1. There we go. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. There we go. It's connected into the ground now. 
Lovely. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to crack on with the outdoor area here. So I just want to work out what kind of like vibe I want to go outdoors here. And I'll come right back. Yeah. So we're going to go what I said last time and do some parasol um, tables, I think, out here. Just to because it's bound to get hot around this area. So I think just having some kind of shade between the tables would be stunning. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to copy you. and Maybe just do... Should I try and fit in four out here? I reckon I could fit in four. If I can do like one there, one there. So I might have to push this back a bit, which is no bother. No bother at all. Um, are you in line there? I think you you're not you are not. You need to be there. Can they still get into that chair? They can. Yeah. Four four tables and chairs, I think. And I think I'll just No, I'll keep that one there. <laughs> like, I think I'll just skirt it off. But the Virgo in me wanted to cry then. For just a second just one second we'll flop these all the way around so it's a mix of like contemporary and classic looking what i want to go in here quite classy it's a classy establishment they have definitely got um that kind of gastro pub feeling that's what i kind of want here uh i'll go for that one just to match in with the parasols i think i usually really don't like this plant um, it, I was not a fan of this when it came out, but I think it will fit in well with this build. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. And I think some kind of water feature out here would be good. I think some kind of water feature would... It'd be nice to hear like running water while you're eating your food, I think. Especially in this little cheeky courtyard area. I think I'd be kind of for that. Uh, I need to think about lighting out here as well, which I'll probably do some kind of wall lighting on the fencing. I think that could be quite nice yes okay right we've got some of them we've got some of them i'm just wondering do i want to separate these off as well because i could like do like a little pocket moment so you've got like privacy onto each table which could be quite nice uh, maybe not those two but definitely these from the the rest of the riffraff let me see that oh no i don't like that <laughs> no i don't like it no we'll keep it open we'll keep it open but let me get out some of the dine out things i know we've got like little menus and stuff that for some reason i don't think appear in this area let me just go into dine out and get some bits out okay so i've pulled out some patio heaters i think this would look would just it just suits the fiber oh i thought that was black but it's not it's actually um brown we'll change that down can i put another one in that side no that's fine we'll leave it that way i'm gonna put some more greenery over that side i think along with some more plants around the whole place but what I want to concentrate on now is getting some good lighting out here. I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Those lights. These might work out here, actually. Oh, I really don't like the swatches of these. I always forget. I always forget. So we're going to have to get rid of dine out, which is a shame. But we'll probably use that on the inside in a minute. So lighting on the walls or the fences, whatever you may wish. I think... I think I'm going to use these, which are base game. I think they would fit the vibe nicely i'm gonna do like one there let me just see the light that they actually give off yes they they do a nice glow from the bottom in fact so now that we've put that one there let's move you behind there as well um i'm gonna do another one over that side and then i'm gonna stop putting them they don't fit onto the fences so i think i'm just gonna have to lift them up with the nine key the good old fashioned way um, I'll do a one, two, three, four. Four is the number for here. And we'll do it there as well. A one, two, three, four. And a five, six, seven, eight. God, my my years at dance school um, <laughs> just was coming out of me then. <laughs> oh, what am I like? I'll tell you what I'm like. I'm a twat. Absolute twat. A tired twat today. One, two three four there we go oh that one's gone into the side a little bit too much how very dare you oh it's dropping down as well i can't believe it oh. right okay uh are you higher why does that one look higher than that one why what for huh? one two three four oh, i think i lifted it up too many times there we go then get that arrow in the middle there stunning yeah, no, that is enough. I'm not going to put a candle or anything on these. Main reasons being, um, I don't, I don't want it to take up too much space on the tables for like food and stuff. 
um, and dine out is an absolute glitchy mess. So the more help it's got, the better, to be honest with you, darlings. Yes, indeed. Oh, you would. Oh, you're quite tall. Oh, you're quite tall indeed, and I'm not for that. Um, Even though the colorways are a bit weird on this too. That one there would go, but I don't like the red plants on it. That one's not too bad either, but the grass looks dead. Uh, so you can go to hell. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Oh, you could work though. You could really work out here. Yes, I do believe so. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll flop one there. That is cutting in slightly, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I could pull that out slightly there. I'm going to put one more there as well. Just pull you out. I've had a couple people ask me as well what Harry Potter I'm reading at the minute. I'm starting again. I'm starting right from the beginning. So I've just finished The Philosopher's Stone. And I am now reading Chamber of Secrets. Um, and I, I, you, you do. You forget how much is left out of the movies compared to the books. Uh, and I always forget of, of something. And then I go back and I'm always su surprised by it. Like just little details. Like, I don't know. Just when when Harry, Ron and Hermione got caught being out of bed by uh, Mr. Filch. Um, but Neville was there as well. They always, they missed out the Neville part in the movies. Like, just all those little things, love. It really is. And I am kind of absolutely for it, to be honest. Okay. And I think here, now I'm looking at this, I'm going to pull one of you down here. Maybe just to like there. Just so it's not covering that light, is it? No. Okay, and then I'm going to go and get some ivy out, I think. And I'm going to climb some ivy up the walls, I think. Um, using the university ones, hopefully, if I can. Because that would be rather delicious if I could. Oh, you can. It fits there a dream. Oh, what a dream to behold. I'm absolutely here for that. Really am. Okay. Do I want to do some more over this side as well? Um... No, I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. And what I'm going to do is maybe just clamber a little bit just around this area. Just in these little spots here. Trying to make this look as natural as possible. Um, I'm going to have to use the university one as well. I mean, yeah, ye old university ivy. Maybe just clamber a bit of that around there too. Just to really, that's the wrong kind of shade, I think. That's better. There we go. Oh, that's better. Just a little bit of a story there. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. I like how that area looks. I think it's got enough greenery out here now as well. I did want to put a water feature in. Let me see if I can find one. And if we, if, if I can find a decent enough one, I'll stick it in. Filth. There we go. I managed to overlap two of these here. It's okay. It's not the perfect. It's not great. But I think that would just look really cool. Oh, actually, do you know what I'm going to do instead? I like those. I do. I do like the waterfall one. I just really detest that base game kind of fountain thing. So what I'm going to do is we're going to find another one of those drains. Let's text search for drain. And maybe what I could do is just overlap these two like this. What do you look like? Oh, you might be better, actually. Oh, well, it's kind of the same, Aiden. It just hasn't got the lip on it, which would work better, to be honest. Um, no, nope, that one's too... What are you? No, nope. no, nope, we'll go for this one. And then the water can just look like it's going down into the drain then and getting recycled through. Yeah, that's better. I prefer that rather than having the... That ugly base game fountain thingy, my bob. You know, I'm for that. Yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Let's move on to the back here where we're going to start doing the staff area. And we'll start maybe detailing up this bit here as well, which is going to be like almost the storeroom slash Bob's um, Eliza hideaway. <laughs> okay, so I've put a little gate there so they have got an exit from the staff area. Um, I'm only going to do one window on this lot. It is supposed to be a store storeroom. It's not supposed to be mighty attractive. That's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to put one of these down here though, I think. And I'll just keep that at default. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. And we'll still do one of those things there as well. Let's get down to this level so I'm not jumping off everywhere. Uh, and I'll pop you to there, I think. No, maybe you need to go up just slightly higher. Yeah, like that. Yes. And I do think it needs some corbels underneath. Um, so I think I'll use the grey ones. Yeah. 
we'll do one like there one there and one in the middle as well let me see that uh, they're a bit big they are a little bit big so i'm gonna size you down keep you in the same spot but just size you down darling let me see oh that's better yeah 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 yeah, yeah i'm happy with that we've gone for that greeny gray color uh the same as the wall i just think it suits it to be honest okay so this is the kitchen this is going to be the exit out into the staff area here so i do want to do a bin and a big bin at that it's one of these bad boys but i don't want graffiti all over it i want it to look quite quite newish so I'll st i think i'll stick with a green one and put it there we have got a nice bin for all of the restaurant to be able to use we need a light out here as well i think i'll do a security light i think i'll do that like security looking light which is this one here i'll pop you above there there we go stunning um and i reckon a little bench here for where the staff maybe want to come out get some fresh air or have a cigarette if they smoke very naughty i'm joking do what you like darlings um so yeah, I'll add one of you in and maybe just a couple of chairs as well. Um, do we have merchant grey chairs with these? Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Okay. I'll just add a couple of these in either side as well. So they've got a little space where they can just come and sit, chill out and stare at a wall, which is rather nice. I'm not going to do any greenery or anything behind here. You wouldn't necessarily make this place look mighty pretty. Um, so I'm going to leave it as is, I think. But I am going to tuck those chairs in slightly. That's better. Yes, I enjoy it. Mm, do you know what? I'm going to add. I'm going to treat them. I'm going to put some greenery in. And I think I might use this one that we couldn't use back there. Yeah, we we'll use this one. And then they didn't have that gray tone. Or was it that one? That one looks dead. <laughs> that one looks dead. The swatches they chose on these were so bad. Not for me. It's such a great little object as well. I just wish it came in better swatches. I really do. Yeah, a little bit of greenery there is fine. And I might just make the bins look a little bit scabby just for some extra details. So I'll plonk this around like there. There we go. Just to make it look a little bit nasty. A little bit nasty. It would be a hard job to try and empty these because they wouldn't be able to get out. But this is The Sims and I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Not at all. So doors into the, st the storeroom. I'm going to put a light in there to begin with, actually. And I think I'm just going to use that, like, single light bulb that I always struggle to bloody find. There you are. I'll put you in there. We'll change the flooring as well. Um, I don't know what flooring we're going to do, but we'll change it either way. And we'll just use that in there as well. So is that in the middle? Now it is. Lovely. And then a little door here. Um... Let me find the perfect door. Okay, so I'm going for this one from university. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but my thoughts being, it kind of looks a bit more like a security door. We'll just pretend it's got a keypad in. I know there is one that looks like that, but it's just not the right vibe here. It's either that one or I could use the one from Get to Work, which would probably go, I've, I've just remembered it here. This one here, that one's probably a bit better actually. Yeah, we'll use this one. Do I want to do it in a crisp white? Do you know what? We're going to we're going to do it in that one. Yeah, that looks a bit that looks a lot more better actually, a lot more fitting. I'm going to do a security light above there as well. Um and I've also put a security light here and also a security camera there and also one out the front here as well. Just so the place is secure, it's got all it needs, you know. Um and I'm going to do a little rug here as well. Um and I think I'll just use the generic one we always use. I'll plonk you there. Plonk you there. Might change the colour of it slightly though. No, you wouldn't want white really, would you? Oh, again, with the swatches of this. I, I detest the swatches of this here. Um, Just pick one. Just pick one. There we go. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. So, storeroom wise. I want to go back into... um get no dine out okay i want to go back into dine out and i want to get some more storage things and by that i mean those like well wine would be good in here the wine storage this here was what i was on about like this 
So that kind of goes into like that. And you kind of go there. Okay. A little bit of wine storage. That might not be the best orientation, actually. Because I probably would want to get a couple of these out. I'm probably going to add one of them in the kitchen as well. But they've got storage everywhere they want now. And I'll put the wine like there. And then here, I'm going to do the small camp bed. Where you can imagine uh, Bob spending some late nights here to get away from Eliza. <laughs> And maybe spend time with Renee. <gasps> maybe they could snuggle up in the single bed. But when me and Tom first get, got together, when I first moved back from London and Brighton, um, I went and lived with my mum for about a year. Oh, my mum and dad for about a year. Um, main reasons being I just wanted to save some money to get my own place and find a job and whatnot. Um, so me and Tom used to have to stay in a bloody single bed. It's awful. It was... It was awful. It wasn't it, it wasn't a single bed as such. It was like a a bit smaller than a double. Do you know what I mean? One of those beds. And we used to have to bloody share it. God, can't even imagine doing that now. Cannot imagine. Okay, so we've done that. And now because of the new update that we've got, um, he can watch TV in bed as well. So I'm going to put a little TV here. Oh, I'd like to use you instead, actually. Wondering if I can put you on top of anything here. Um, oh, that looks like kind of oldy. Do you fit up there? Oh, you do. Oh, we'll do that. Can I face it the other way so it hasn't got the soap detail? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll face it the other way just so it hasn't got the soap detail. Can I face this the other way? No, it only goes on one direction. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Well, I'm going to have to find a new um, side table. There we go. We'll go for that one there from university. So he's got a little moment where he can just come and stay. It's the talk of the um, restaurant as well. You can imagine all the waiters and all like, oh God, he's staying here again. He's at the restaurant again. <gasps> Bob was here this morning. I don't think he's getting along with Eliza. Oh no. Well, I've heard they've been having trouble for months. Do you reckon they're going to stay together? No idea. He seems to have took a fancy to that Renee. <laughs> <laughs> look, at me. look at me getting the goss in. Getting the gossip in. Yeah, no, I think that's cute. Okay, I'm happy with that as well. Happy with that, Cho. Happy with that. I think what we're going to do is put on some more exterior details and stuff around the back. Oh, that door's disappeared now for some weird reason. Um, I'm going to put on some more exterior details around here. I'll pull out a few objects and see what we can work with. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put a nice little leafy boy in this bit here. I pulled out this here. Um, so I'm going to add a nice little leafy boy in here. Maybe something like this. Yes, that would be nice. Uh, can I pull you up? I can. Just wanted a little bit of detail. Oh, God, that's floating now. Go away. Stop it. Are you floating? No, you're not floating. Ah, oh, how stunning. <gasps> oh, oh, you bastard. You absolute heathen. Now it's not up far enough. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. And then I thought around here. I just think it would be cute to have a little buskin station. I don't know why. I just had this feeling, this, like, wall behind this. It would look really cute having a little buskin station. And maybe a couple of bikes just lent up against the wall. Just for some details. Are you going to not let me put that near the wall? You bloody will, darling, because I've got tool mod. <laughs> so I'm going to whiffle you to there. I'm going to change the color of that in just a second. Oh, did that go on the floor then? Oh, it did lovely job and the same with here as well um you're probably not going to though are you are you no you're not so with that i will shift and see you darling see you're at the no it's in the right uh, <laughs> uh... oh it's fine okay right there we are <laughs> didn't have to do anything <laughs> didn't have to do anything we'll put a little bike like that and then a cheeky little number in like a greeny color, I think would look cool there. Yes. And then behind here, I do want to do some flyers as well. So maybe I could get the ones from, are they from, I think they're from Get Together. Yeah, these here. Do you have something that doesn't look too, no, <laughs> no is the answer. Um, The green will probably go okay. And I'll put it just behind here. And Bob's like, oh, do you know what? I'm not going to bother taking this 
graffiti down this is like part of the community like people gather around here and sit on the bench and watch someone bus busking and stuff like i like that little storyline that we've got going on and that's just brought a bit more detail into this area i also put these up here as well just to stop any like cars or anything coming down here i might do the same there as well to be honest with you i'll pop you there and can should we do them around the other side i mean we don't really have to but i am going to i'm gonna put one there and then another one there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of helps it. That will stop a car from coming in. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, what about a fire hydrant? That would look cool. I don't know where that is, though. Let me find it. Here they are. Yeah, I'm going to pop one of these back here as well. Um, in fact, I'm just going to squeeze you in the middle there. Yeah, round about there, darling. There we go. I know they're only supposed to go on the front of builds or buildings, but we've put one in the back as well. We have put one in the back. Okay, so I think to finish off, I'm going to do some more of these boxes around by this area here. It's just looking a little bit blank underneath these windows. And I'm not about that life. We want it to be a little bit more detailed, darling. Now, I would go on and do the interior today, but I think it's probably going to be a shorter part today anyway. But what I'll do is just bring the interior part out on Monday. We'll, we'll get going on the Monday. Yes, we will. Yes, we will indeed. Okay, yeah, no, this is looking better now. Now it's got a little bit more detail in there. It's starting to nestle in. I'm liking how it's looking, which is important. I love this little area here. That's really cute. Really, really cute. I think it blends into the world nicely as well, which is what I want. I really do. There we go, my darlings. We are done. Oh, that was Blue having a little shake off. He knows it's ready for time for his walkies. Looking at me now. Anyway. Thank you so much for coming today. Part two of the Pancake House done. We'll be back for the final part on Monday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a challenge video. I'm not disclosing what kind of challenge video I'm doing for tomorrow. And then on Friday is going to be a Design Me Devon. So, yes, that's this week's schedule sorted. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, friends.